Hey, what's doing guys? Back with another fresh vinyl review. And today we're going to be looking at the X Plus 30 centimeter Yuji Sakai Modern Collection Shin Godzilla form 4. Boom! Got all that? Good, because I ain't saying it again. I'm not saying that this is the X Plus 30 centimeter, not so 30 centimeter Yuji Sakai Modern Collection Godzilla Shin Godzilla form 4 from 2016 Shin Godzilla. Huh, okay. <laughs> Funny how that works. Alright, so, figure came out in the fall of 2018. Alright, this is the Yuji Sakai version, as I said. It was priced about, well, I went standard here because I honestly, I just did not see any difference in the Rick and the standard really at all. Nothing that the Rick had that said, I have to go Rick. The Rick, from my understanding, it was painted with like gray vinyl or something on the inside to make the, the red on the outside look like it was more glowing. But, and, and I guess the Rick was supposed to look like it was, he was radiating more, more red. But from the pictures that I've seen, now mind you, I have not watched anybody else's review yet because I don't like to watch reviews for a figure that I am going to review. That way it's my opinion first. Okay, good. All right, but I just don't think the Rick was worth it. That's just my opinion. Don't sue me. Don't shoot me. Don't, you know, ha. Huh? Okay, so I went standard. I got mine from Hobby Search. It was about, I think, 220 bucks, give or take whatever Hobby Search retail price was. Um, and that's kind of the average for the Yuji Sakai standard figures. If you went with the Rick, you probably paid around $245, $250, give or take, plus the shipping, whatever it costs. So at the end of the day, you, if you went with Rick, you're looking at around $300 shipped. If you went standard, you're probably looking around $260 shipped, give or take, okay? Yeah. All right, good. So I, again, like some other figures that I reviewed recently, I was not going to get this because I'm like, do I need another Shin Godzilla? Because, you know, not, not is it just X+, Plus, but... Toho is milking Shin Godzilla like a cow that is going to dry up in a summer's sandy desert, okay? It's gonna just, we're just milking it dry, all right? And I remember when X Plus teased this at one of the toy festival shows in Japan, I was like, wow, it looks really good. Boom. But, you know, there's always that one thing that bugs me about the Yuji Sky line, which is understandable because they're coming from resin kits, is that the figures are not really 30 centimeter, they're more around 27, 28 centimeter scale. Okay, good. But, not vaulting the figure, but I ended up getting him in any anyways because I'm like, I really do love the design and figured, you know, I, you know, I had to get it. I reviewed it and I was actually thinking, like, if I don't like it, I'm going to sell it. But, when I got him out of the box, you know, A, the box is freaking huge. He's over there somewhere and uh, look at the picture of the box, okay? Box is pretty big because why? Because he's got this big ass tail that... Actually, it's really not that bad the way it's positioned because it's curled up, which means it's not really going to take up that much shelf space. So I'm also, you know, reading through the comments section in the X Plus world that the tail is not as big as it should be. It should be actually longer. And I, I agree. It, maybe it should be like another eighth of what the tail is longer, you know, maybe like up to here. But it does seem on the shorter side. Whatever, you know, maybe they did that because, you know, again, the packaging. X Plus does a lot of, you know, the way they think about how these figures are going to be produced as far as the packaging as well, because they have to keep the boxes and the figures, well, the figures inside the box within a certain set of dimensions. That's a fact, okay? Um, so may maybe that's why we they kept it at this size. Uh, I'm not really complaining that much of a big deal because when I have the figure on the shelf, the tail's going to be in the back out of sight anyway, so... Unless you're displaying your figures like this on your shelf and you're, everybody's got, unless you, you know, unless you got like, you like Godzilla's ass and you got your whole collection with Godzilla's ass facing you, but I don't know. I mean, maybe you're a dorsal play guy. I don't know. I'm just babbling now. Okay. But don't worry too much about the tail. That's just me. Anyway, the figure itself, it really is damn good looking. Standard, like I said, detail is just disgusting looking throughout this figure. His face is just mutilated and all just, just burnt, charred looking. Just like a, you know, as as everything such with Shin Godzilla, the vibe they were going for is if he looked like he was attacked or, you know, radiated by nuclear fission, radiation, mutation. So that's what he looks like. The skin, it's really, really detailed. The teeth, everything. Actually, the teeth are not as detailed as I thought they would be. They are nicely done, but they're kind of just mishmashed together. But pretty much wasn't that how he looked in the film. Yeah. Uh, inside his mouth, again, there is no tongue on Shin Godzilla. So, he, um, and it doesn't look good. Somebody put a tongue on Shin Godzilla in the X-Plus group. No, don't do that. Okay. Um, didn't look right. 
Just didn't. No. Stop it. Anyway, but he's got these beady eyes. Now, one eye on mine. Uh, let's see, this is the right eye. Kind of looks like it's just looking as if he was looking straight forward. The left eye is looking down. So, this Godzilla is... He, maybe he just got hit up on the head, and he's kind of like... And not sure what's going on. Or X Plus did this on purpose. So you have a different perspective on how Shin Godzilla looks from whichever side you're looking at him. Maybe? I don't know. I didn't design the figure. Uh, again, to me, it's not really a big deal unless you're looking at the figure head on. Which even then, it's kind of hard to notice the eyes. But you know it's there. And honestly, the only angle I don't like looking at this figure is head on. It just looks really just funny looking. It's kind of like... <laughs> mushed face, okay? So, now I will say, detail, again, it's nicely done, crisp, deep, um, the reds and the blacks throughout this figure, as far as the paint job goes, look really, really good, I'm glad I went standard, detail looks great, um, it's just very deep looking, and I just, I really have no complaints about it, there are a couple seams on the, where the arms are, around the legs, actually there's this odd looking seam around the back of the head here, just at the, you know, at the tip of his neck and the back of his head, I'm not entirely sure why they needed to do that. Maybe it has something to do with the Rick on how that was produced, or it's just how the figure was produced. But not again, not a big deal unless you're displaying your figures backwards on your collection, on your shelves. Okay, tail goes on nice and easy. Just heat him up, heat that butt up, squishy soft, plop him in, bada bing, bada boom. No complaints there. The the rest of the tails got all these bumpy grooves, spikes, dorsal plates. They're not too sharp, so if you're gonna hit your kid sister with it, you know you're probably still gonna do some damage, but it's not gonna do that much damage unless you unless it was like the uh, the SH Monster Arch in Godzilla that will you know make blood. The tip of the tail is just as disgusting as ever. I actually think the 25 centimeter tail on the Shin Godzilla is more detailed than this one. Maybe it's just because of the way that one's painted, but this one he's got that that ugly gnarly looking chewed up Twizzler. Tootsie Pop, Slim Jim looking tail going on here with that nastiness. So that looks pretty cool. You know, probably been when they reissued this as the Frozen Godzilla, they'll have added the skeleton people coming off the tail. So that would look pretty good. And I will pass on that. I just don't think that's needed. But, you know, we'll see. I wouldn't be surprised. Bandai's doing it. It's kind of ridiculous how many figures that they're throwing out there. But, hey, it's a great time to be a collector, right? Honestly, it is. It's just, wow, so much stuff. And you know what? I can't complain because how long ago were Bandai collectors saying we haven't got nothing in years? So it really is good. I shouldn't complain. And I'm really not. But um, I really dig this figure. I, I wish it was bigger. I am going to bring up uh, the... Oh, where is the 25? Oh, darn it. Here's a 25 centimeter. Let's do a little size comparison here. And then um, if I can get it off the shelf, I'm not prepared. Come on. Here we go. Okay, so here's a 25 centimeter. This is the Yuji Sakai. Obviously, we've been talking about it for the last five minutes. This one stands a little bit taller than the 25. Okay, now look at the 25. I'm gonna, look how much bigger the tail here. Yeah, we're right. We are right. Look how much bigger the tail is on the 25 than the Yuji Sakai. It's ridiculous. It is definitely just bigger. I mean, it could be because of how this is positioned up, but the 25 centimeter tail just feels much bigger. Now, I will give much props here to the Yuji Sakai version because this one, the detail, it's much deeper, it's much more, uh, just, it, it's, uh, it looks much more realistic than this. This is more smooth on his skin, and it's not as deep. The paint job is not as standing out and popping out, not really taking anything away from this version, but the Yuji Sakai, it just, it's, this is Yuji Sakai. He's this master sculptor. This is what we expect. Crispy detail and just deep details. So, again, I, I dig both, but the Yuji Sakai takes the hat, takes the cake in the detail department here, where the 25 takes the tail department, bigger tail. And like I said, the difference on the tail here is so much better than on, on this for some reason. Again, I think it's probably just because of how it's painted. But whoever sculpted this 25 centimeter Shin Godzilla really did a good job on the tip of that tail. It's just disgusting. Okay. Now, let's bring up a couple more Yuji Sakai so we could do a little comparison here. Okay. Here we have the Godzilla 91 and the Yuji Sakai 54. All three Yuji Sakai figures. This, um, the Shin Godzilla does stand 
a little bit taller than the 91, as it should, because the Shin Godzilla, you know, Shin Godzilla is much bigger than the 91 anyway, only by why, what, 20 meters, give or take, something like that, because this Godzilla was 100, um, but from the figure's aspect, Shin Godzilla should be taller, because he's bigger, but is it really a true 30 centimeter figure? No. If this figure should be, if it was true 30 centimeter to the scaling, it would probably be as tall as Space Godzilla in the 30 centimeter line that I have up there. So, not a big deal. I mean, it's a good size figure. It, just imagine if this was a true 30 centimeter figure. It would be just, it would feel really, really big. But it feels almost more uh, like a stand. <sighs> It's, again, it's, it's, it's 27. He's probably just about 29 centimeters tall, but not a big deal. I mean, they, these actually, actually the three of these look really, really good together. Um, if I had to sell off some Yuji Sakai figures, I'd keep these three. These would stay. These would make a cut. Um, there's probably a couple that I would let go of if, if it came down to it, but anyways. So, that is the uh, 30 centimeter Shin Godzilla review for me. Detail looks good. Paint job looks good. The figure just disgusting looking as we expected. I'm not going to do size comparison with the Gigantic because there's really just no comparing this to the Gigantic. I will say that this figure does have the detail that the Gigantic has. And that's very, very good because it's almost like having a mini Gigantic figure without having to, you know, sacrifice all the size and everything. Okay? Good. Alright, so that's all I got. I'm going to go eat a bag of Twizzlers, some Slim Jims, and uh, some Turkey Jerky. And maybe a Tootsie Pop, and then I'm going to spit it all out and formulate my own little Shin Godzilla tail here and go beat somebody with it, okay? Sounds like a plan? All right, cool. All right, I'll see you on my next Fresh Vinyl review. And remember, people, buy vinyl, fresh vinyl. Damn!